Click here to watch and understand what grindcore and metalcore is. Now let's discover more core influence genres. Mincecore. When grindcore started drifting away from its roots, forming gold grind and corner grind, that's when mincecore happened. Having strong punk influences, mainly cross punk. <laughs> Groovier, grimy guitars and drummings while keeping things simple, raw, politically involved like old grindcore. During 1985, Agatha Cleese was formed, dropping many splints, EPs and demos like If This Is Gold Was Me Stand. <laughs> Back to 1987, <laughs> Minsk Corner War Collection Tape. <laughs> But I started with razor sharp daggers. They also coined the term as an act against these things while supporting these things and the style of rarely having full length albums. Ooh. Shortly more bands discovered men's core and pushed things further like Dharma with Dharma Rise. <laughs> Unholy Grave with Crucified. <laughs> and rot with crew face of life. Other pioneers include Arch Harfagus, Haggis, Malignant Tumor, Fans include Death Troll AK, Hyperemesis <laughs> Bukago Grind Time, a anime theme men's core Etc. Quick note, men's core exists, but that's for another video. Post hardcore. Similar to post punk, where bands like to expand, experiment their music styles and topics while having its hardcore roots. Like the lighter, more complicated, and diverse version of hardcore punk. So you will definitely see some bands that fit in other genres as well. It starts during hardcore days when some bands like Huska do. Minuteman. Big Black Etc. Wanted to drift a bit away from hardcore to include more music elements Then it went mainstream in the 90s with Fugazi Refuse At the drive-in The Nation of Ulysses Drive like Yahoo Etc. Went on big brain mode with their music and effects 2000s bands include Unworn Burning Airlines Juno Other bands include Slint Post the children Etc. Another turn point bands during the 80s are Rise of Spring and Moss Icon Credit for birthing emo and emo core as well Before I continue, make sure to like and subscribe Your support is my motivation and backbone to continue posting these videos So please, like and subscribe now, back to the video Nintendo Core Rock and Mail becomes a video game Mixing both dramas and subdramas with chiptune and 8-bit music Recreating that pixel game sound or even singing about video game storyline History can date back to early chiptune Wee. days But we'll skip to Yellow Magic Orchestra with Yellow Magic Orchestra And Jerry Buckner and Gary Garcia's Pac-Man Forever. The whole album is literally about video games. Cause I got Pac-Man fever. Pac-Man fever. It's driving me crazy. With both including arcade game samples. But during 2000s, host the band debuted at Arborax. Then the mechanical hand. Jokingly coined the term to describe their music, but that joke turned to a whole drama when bands like The Advantage, 
mini bosses. Sky Sad Plane. Saw it as an opportunity to express their maleness with gaming. Later on, it became an umbrella term where bands get to mix other dramas than just metalcore and hardcore, making music out of the box. We got bands like the Megas. Power Glove Formatron <laughs> That Metal 5 video game music While others like I shot the Dark Hunt Dog 100 Dead Rabbit <laughs> Dino Track <laughs> Sounding heavier with some cyber grind elements. Other bands include Master Band <laughs> as the world fades. <laughs> I am Error, <laughs> which later becomes Mono Mate, <laughs> etc. Progressive metalcore. Intellectually chugging breakdowns. The technical atmospheric style of metalcore that takes elements from the gen, mathcore, pop metal and focuses on complicated guitar work, sounding the gen T but not too the gen. During metalcore's peak times, it birthed melodic metalcore and prop metalcore. After the burial is often considered as the pioneer, a perfect blend of breakdown and complexity, along with architects, the human abstract, Born of Osiris Between the bird and me Era Being early pioneers, pushing boundaries by adding extended scales and dreamy fives to their guitar works. Fans include Misery Signals Polaris Periphery Just to name a few And that's part 2 of different core music Part 3 is gonna come out real soon so stay tuned Feel free to add your info or recommend your bands in the comment section Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video Bye bye